Hey, peace out, y'all. Uh, peace out, peace out. No more outing. Upping. Peacing up. I always up. I'm telling you to talk differently. Hey, Cindy. Yeah, hey, we just thought we had, um, look at that. Because <clears throat> I just realized this is kind of like one of our rituals where we unwind from getting kicked in the face by trolls and corporations and governments since uh, 311 came along and um, we we started uh, doing the uh, Fukushima reporting and um, this is our release as we have a can of tuna fish yes tuna fish from tuna that was harvested of the Pacific Ocean before March 2011. <clears throat> Isn't that amazing, eh? So, this is how we rub it in. I could have... We've had these on the average about once every 10 days. And boy, does it taste good knowing that it's the last of its kind. given the effects of the contamination in the tuna fish that you've been eating in the sushi. Okay, see? That, that's when it was bought. This, this was actually in the bottom of my, um, my uh, food rations. I kind of didn't get rotated. So this is actually was bought. And August 2009. We had plenty of other cans, and we never shared any with you, so there we go. We shared it with you. What's up? Mm. <clears throat> go fuck yourselves, the whole lot of you, for sitting there in your cognitive dissonance, however it was installed, and doing absolutely nothing to make those cocksuckers shut off this doomsday weapon. I guess, uh, I might as well. This channel's only got a day or two left. So, um, yeah, let's swing this puppy around. We'll, we'll give you a once over on the ship. Needless to say, I parodied about the uh, ship made out of nails. Galafanufanufruvun, uh, or whatever it was called. Okay. There it is. <laughs> made out of fingernails. Keratin? No. They, they, these are actually straws. You're, you're going to use, well, you can't use the space shuttle fuel tanks because you guys wasted all those. Uh, but that's what I'm going to use because I had Chicken Little's three eggs picking the little fuckers up instead of crashing back to Earth and um, putting solar sails on them and um, sending them out to uh, <laughs> my ears. I'm doing this especially for you, uh, Ilan, um, at SpaceX. <laughs> and those space shuttle tanks have been sitting out in the magnetosphere uh, tail of Myers magnetosphere tail and um, filling themselves up with, <laughs> with solar plasma and iron. <laughs> Sorry, is this you guys are so fucking stupid in all your um, lame fucking grade scarcity games. <clears throat> That's the secret of why you bunch of stupid talking fucking monkeys are 
on the verge of, well, you can't even wait for natural extinction to come along, easily preventable natural extinction. You're dedicating all your surplus needs to creating your own natural self-extinction. I guess at the beckoning of some Vulcan Romulans that are apparently, I don't know, serving Ferengis or whatever that got a buyer for the planet's core. Okay, well, we've covered that in other films. So, anyhow, uh, we'll just uh, <clears throat> These are obviously deployable solar collectors and um, would be expanded out depending on where you were and what you wanted to collect in here and um, fire down the central <clears throat> plasma tube and out this end. You can also store extra plasma in here when you're going through real thick and obviously the, the deal is, is you're building up, you're turning it into a comet, right? You're building up a casing of, well, ideally water and whatever else is in that solar wind stream that you're sailing through with with your solar sails that are also solar collectors and they're also capable of being emitters. Uh, I've taken the liberty, like I told you, spreading this all throughout the internet and when you search for it you'll find it. <coughs> graphene, pro pro proven simple technology, cheap, little gold, little graphene here and there. Okay, now, uh, now in Eilon's case, obviously these are going to be like a, a Falcon 9 or whatever. Whatever you get up there and when it uh, explunges itself and sends off the rest of its cargo into high orbit, out comes its solar, solar sail! Oh, yeah, right. Okay, because who cares if it takes two years to go, or ten years or whatever to go park up in that Ugarian point. And wait, right. obviously we're talking each one of these is a rocket body, just like the shuttle ones that I have been salvaging. Or, well, I mean, chicken little eggs I've been salvaging. <clears throat> I merely put the idea in the back of the little programming, all right? And, um, well, I'll, if there's time to upload this, I'll attach basic uh, go just go look up uh, the simple uh, hydrogen boron system and that'll that'll at least clue you in these puppies will burn just about anything you collect and obviously you have plenty of storage room well protected from cosmic storms and and the uh, radiation that your reactor is giving off right so you know you can crush your outside tanks which are the first ones you empty uh, you know, and if there's a cosmic storm coming, well, you might want to fill up your outside tanks and transfer the fuel real fucking quick. So you could go back to using all of your ship and not just the inner. She spins for gravity. And, um, obviously, if you had to do an atmospheric burn, this is your plasma drive engine. Uh, if you're on a barren world, you could, uh, with a heavy uh, gravity well, <clears throat> you can turn each of these tanks, you know, you just attach uh, however many simple uh, fusion engines for deorbiting that you want. It's just not a big problem, containing it is. And then, you know, that containment is, that mass containment is, is everything. Uh, <clears throat> you know, including your inertia mass, right, you're using your hydrogen is your inertia mass is to smooth out the pulse so you're not carrying, you know, like a 10% weight penalty in uh, unneeded beryllium shielding. Now, obviously, anytime you're entering a star system, you're going to have lots of fuel or around, uh, you know, <clears throat> going to refuel around Titan or whatever, right? Alrighty, so there she is. Obviously, redundancy and safety is the thing, and this could all be split up and deorbited with a little bit of this and that. And uh, well, keep in mind, in this shuttle, these are like uh, 30 feet wide and long. It's a lot of space.
all free. And you guys were just wasting all that because you're all hooked up in this plan of obsolescence game. Wouldn't it cost you, it cost you dick all? A few thousand dollars to orbit uh, with, with uh, if you knew. If you bothered learning the basics about uh, solar sailing, which I'm sure you have. You just don't want to popularize it because, well, like everything created scarcity scam and the whole Vulcan Romulan overlords that are holding it back says they can own all of near space before you get your hands on it. You know the created scarcity game. And if you don't do that and make it seem impossible to go here or there and migrate out naturally, well, how are you going to get them to call themselves and how are you going to uh, sell them protection, military industrial complex protection racket, right? How, how are you going to do all that if you don't create this created scarcity, monopolizing scam? So that's because you're all fucking morons and apathetic idiots <clears throat> damaged, not beyond repair, but so much that you could care less about repairing yourselves. So, that's what you get. You get nothing, you don't get to survive, you don't get to serve life out. And here you go, we're, we're landing in a, uh, you say, I'm sure you noticed the, the pyramid shape. So you know what I'm getting about. Okay, so we're landing in an old uh, uh, dried lake bed with a lot of uranium mixed in there, and we're going to mine it out. Okay, so we're DR working. Let's add something. Ah, my light stick. Add some flame. <coughs> oh, fuck, is that ever annoying upside down? Can't be doing this upside down. Why is that doing that? Well, anyhow, you get the shape of things, right? <laughs> Firing up the extra auxiliary engines and doing a hyd straight hydrogen oxygen burn or, or whatever you need. Know. If it didn't matter, I guess you'd use hydrogen and, and nuclear engines. I'll put the link right there. Okay, so here we have it. <coughs> and she lands down in that old lake bed full of <coughs> straight up lake bed in the desert. And, uh, Bear with me a second there. That uh, spaceship just fell over. Sorry guys, I don't know why this thing's doing an upside down fucking screen. It's just fucking me up. <sighs> Must have caught another virus when I was downloading. Alright, so anyhow, well, back to the ship. Let's go. Okay, so she lands in that old dried up swamp in Gibbons, Africa, or, or, or uh, my backyard there, whatever, right? She lands in there with her pyramid collectors and slowly settles down into the sediment as it mines out all the metals. <clears throat> and fills up the engine. And Maybe splits off some water to fill up the hydrogen tanks and blasts off with these pyramid, huge pyramids. This is scaled, right? That's that's just that's just the holder, right? So picture that like holding out a thousand times. My huge fucking huge. This thing is what uh, half a kilometer long and. These solar cell emitters and collectors are pulled out. Like I say, you can you can do it unlimited size, depending on what kind of space you're going through. You want to go through optimal collecting your fuel, filling your tanks back up for when you need them, with speed and ablation, you know, wear and tear. And keep in mind, you're 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 condensing the extra onto here as well as minerals you may need. Maybe you need more gold or whatever. Or, or more aluminum or or more oxygen or whatever. You're condensing 
all the surplus out of here because you have to it's wasted energy anyhow and building like a big comet shell around your ship and that's your that's your, your protection from meteorite collisions and you know, supernova dust and cosmic rays and the whole nine yards alrighty Well, I better end it here or we won't get it uploaded before the uh, <clears throat> Google Plus deletes my channel, which is, uh, well, we're the 11th, so I guess it's the 13th. Wednesday? Yeah. All right. And, um, well, this has already begun. Atlantis re-risen. This one here started. Yeah. Chicken Little Z started to get them neutronium fragments in there. Uh, three, I believe. <laughs> in the middle of a hurricane, says to uh, dissipate any tsunami effect. Worked for me. All right, peace out, y'all. Oh, here, let's, let's, add, let's add the spacey background. Peace up, and um, I guess you've got a few days to leave your applications, your, your expressions of interest. This is not an application. This is not a job offer or a, a contract proposal or anything. This is proposals. That's all. Uh, great, and uh, keep working on getting your ass up into orbit and then down again at the other end at Mars. We're going to enjoy our tuna fish. Sorry, dads, didn't mean to tease you. They're having cannabis therapy too, so they're quite fucked up. They're, uh, they don't normally have to use cannabis. They don't have the problems I do. All right.